Hello everybody and welcome back to the series where we Iron Man every single Fire Emblem game. Today we are continuing our journey through Fire Emblem 4, also known of course as Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War. Um, and we are on chapter 6. Usually I start on the title screen actually. Yeah, I don't know why I'm... I don't know why I started this here. Uh, but whatever, we're on chapter 6. We're about halfway through the game, so... Um, we recruited... The, where is he? The, this guy, um, last time, and unfortunately that means we're being attacked by these guys, but we have some allies. And then over here we have Mr. Arthur, who is slowly but surely killing this boss, or at least trying his darndest. Or I guess this guy isn't really a boss, um, but yeah, and then uh, we have Fee, who's slowly going up to rescue that guy. And then there's not honestly much else to do. I should bring up the stuff so we know like who to talk to um because we have a couple conversations still to be had so this is obviously the boss we don't have to deal with him yet he has a thief sword for some reason <laughs> wait he can steal my gold don't do that and then this guy who looks pretty scary but he does give us a brave axe which is nice and these fellas and then we have isaac over here oh that's right i was having him um kill this guy yeah i'm assuming this looks pretty good for me yeah i yeah. So that's good. We can rescue this village. What level is um? What level is this guy? Twelve. That's not bad actually. I don't know how good this unit is necessarily, but if we can get a brave axe on him. Like I think we can probably promote him pretty easily. All right, let's figure out what's going on with this battle because there's a lot of units here. Uh, here, Lester, you can get a pick. Okay, one more thing. A lot of people, or I shouldn't say a lot of people. Two people um did mention that they think um. Or at least when I looked at the comments earlier today, that, um... Uh, that was a good level up. So no strength. That getting, uh, Nusferatu as opposed to Aura is the better, the better idea. Um, so for anyone that doesn't remember... Uh, last time we were tasked with... Uh, we could either recruit the Axe Knight or the Axe Fighter. And depending on which one we recruited, the other one became, or th that one became an ally and sort of their units. Now, you can either get Nusferatu or Aura, depending on which of the next two castles you capture. So the one here, which is enemy, or the one here. Now, unfortunately, we recruited, I think, the better unit in the, the Axe Knight, but apparently that is the worst, um, what do you call it, the worst, Thing like we want Nosferatu, not Aura. I was thinking, like I explained last time, that um, because you know we didn't use Deirdre very much, so I was under the assumption that we wouldn't wind up using this new character very much. And I thought, who cares which one we get? Because we're not going to be using her very much. But apparently, um, she's extremely useful and extremely good on the final chapter in particular. Some people said so. Uh, that's a bummer, but we'll make it work, obviously. Uh, but yes, I, I did hear everybody. Um, actually, I haven't replied to any comments yet, but I'll probably reply to some comments uh, a little bit later. I just took a look. I just got home and started recording. But um, let's try off your animations. But yeah, um, yeah, we'll make do, obviously. But I did I did read people's comments. I hear what you said. And, you know, you're probably right. Again, I was under the impression that we would not be using her very much, and so. Nusferatu healing wouldn't actually be that useful because she's so frail anyways as, as a mage, but, you know, you live and you learn. So, what conversations do we still have to have? Um, did that one, we did that one. Um, did this guy just attack Dermot? Okay. Good lord, that's so much damage, so much potential damage, holy shit. Look at that hits low. So we can have Selif talk to Lana, but not until after we um, capture Safara. Then we can have Oifi talk to Selif, we can have Fee talk to Selif, and Arthur talk to Selif, that makes sense. And then we can have... Weird. So there's a... So like I said last time, there are generic units, and then there are units that you create or that you get if you have two units pair up. Wait, that was lethal. I didn't realize Ulster was like missing so much health. That was really scary. I mean, that was a 5%, but very unnecessary 5%. Um, yeah, it should be fine. We can always proc soul. Things go really poorly. 
So anyways, you can either get Larcy, who of course we have, or you can get a generic unit whose name is Creedney. Something like that. That's what the translation here says. Um, so there's actually a conversation between whichever of the axe users you recruit and then that generic um, Rakesh's daughter. Or sorry, Ira daughter. Which is really bizarre because you can't do it with Larcy. And you actually get plus two strength and plus three luck if you do it. But we can't do it because we have the, the good unit. We have Larcy. Which is fine. I mean, Larcy's dope, and you know I'm happy that I have her. She's really strong, but kind of weird. So we can't do that conversation. Um, but we can th get three health for uh, Lana, which is cool. We like that. We like that a lot. Oh, you know what I was just thinking? So Arthur came with the legendary staff, which was on Claude, and he also came with wind, which I was thinking like, oh, Arthur must be like a wind mage. That makes sense. But I actually totally forgot that Arthur, or sorry, that Claude actually had a wind tome on him. That was the one offensive tome that I gave him. So that's how he got the wind tome. I didn't even think about that. I don't know if I had a really an opportunity to give him a better tome, but in retrospect, if I did, I, I really should have done it. <laughs> Because it would be nicer if Arthur had something better than wind, but that's why he has wind. That makes a lot of sense. I just like wasn't even thinking about that at all. I thought they just gave him uh, wind. You hit by 12%? C can we not do that, maybe? That'd be cool. HP, strength. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's so resistance and defense. Wow. That's huge. Remember correctly what I was talking about last time is that Fee has a terrible strength growth, only like 25%, because it mixes um, strength and magic, because her dad is um, Lewin. So huge that we get strength. Every strength level up is a... I mean, 25% isn't like that bad, but it's not great. So every time we get strength, it's huge. For sure. The rest of her growths are all really good, so I don't mind those so much. So I honestly only really need to send Seleph over here, because everybody else... Um, everybody else can just kind of head down and start helping out down there. You know what? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> you know what I just realized? Um, so the thing says, depending on whether you, were, you seize Isaac or you seize um, Safara, Depends on whether or not you get Nusferatu or Aura. But the thing is, you can't seize Allied Castle, so we can't seize Isaac. But these guys, I would think, are going to go seize this castle, right? So what if we just wait until... Well, we're going to have to anyways, but what if we just wait until they seize, and then we seize that one first? Can we still manipulate the game to give us Aura? As opposed to... Or sorry, to give us Nusferatu as opposed to Aura? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We can find out though. I'm pretty sure they're gonna take that castle. I mean, that would make the most sense because it's currently it's currently owned by uh, a green unit, so they they should want to take it. I don't know. Let's see if they take it. If they take it, I think there might be a chance for us. Ooh, soul, very nice. Actually, it doesn't really matter that much, but kind of cool to see him proc it. P strength, speed. Oh, just everything. Just the whole the whole everything. Well, no complaints here. We love to see that. I will say that boss does look really scary, though. You'll never take my castle from me, rebels. I'll beat the daylight right out of you. Okay. I actually completely forgot that there was even a named guy in this, like, group. Actually, let's have Ira kill him. That'll be funny. Larcy, what? Or sorry, it's Larcy. Larcy, what are you doing? I can't fight you. I won't. Wait, so will he not attack me? Oh, I guess we'll never know. Oh, I'm sorry, Larcy. It's okay. I mean, she's the one that killed you. I'm kind of curious if he would have attacked there. I kind of guess that he would, but Larcy's too good. HP, skill, strength, defense. Oh, sweet. Yeah. She doesn't really need speed. Honestly, skill is almost more important, because she's going to be doubling everything all the time anyways. And skill lets her proc her um, her skills. Obviously, that's what that does. So a very useful thing. 
I will say, I really need to get Ira to a, um... What do you call it? To a castle, because I really need to repair that Brave Sword. I got seven hits left. Only seven hits. Got that Riz. Okay, so they're going over to attack Safara, which is fine because they can't seize Safara. So we can still make it work down in uh, down here. We'll see. I mean, like I said, two people um, were, were telling me that I should have gotten Nosferatu instead. And I wonder if they even know whether or not we can do this. If this doesn't work, obviously it doesn't matter, right? We'll just get Aura and move on with our day. I don't really care what she gets that much, to be honest. But in retrospect, it, especially if we're going to want to use her a lot because she's useful, it does make sense to me that you would want Nosferatu and not Aura. Especially for Arena, because I feel like she can probably do a lot better in the Arena with Nosferatu than Aura. Um, but for anyone out there who, who you know, thinks we're already locked into Nosferatu, we may, we may very well already be locked into Aura, but uh, we're going to find out. We are going to find out. Arthur's almost got a level here, which is pretty nice. So I'm a little bit scary about actually fighting this guy, because he looks fucking terrifying, and he has three authority stars. I don't really know how we kill him, to be completely honest. I mean, we always have Selif, who has his own uh, authority stars. How much avoid does he have? 32. It's pretty scary. Okay, let's just hold, all head down here. If we need to head back, because we can't actually... Uh, Seize or something, we can always do that. Not a big deal. Yeah, how do we kill that guy? Does anybody does anybody know? I don't really have much of a plan. Um Oifi maybe? Oifi is definitely our strongest unit. But this armor set is so crap. I wish he had a better weapon. I mean there's always the oh there's always the chance that Selif just like crits. Can we take up like a defensive position somewhere? There's a choke here. But there's no, like, avoid tiles that we can get. And I can't take this castle, obviously. I mean, we could hold, like, here, maybe? But there's so many units with him as well. I really don't know. I really don't know. It's very scary. I don't know how I'm going to kill that guy. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I don't really have much of a plan. I mean, there's a chance that we could just, like, wipe him out with, like I said, crit or um, Ira going crazy. But Ira's almost out of that brave sword, so... Maybe we could do something. Oh God, Wifey is a stupid armor slayer, though. Oh, maybe they aren't gonna. Oh no, they are. Okay. So this, once they seize it, I should be able to seize it, right? I would think. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Because you can't seize allied castles, obviously. Obviously. Oh, webcam like pushed to the. I guess I'm kind of sitting. I just kind of sit over here. I'm always looking, you, you probably, people that watch probably know this, but I have a second, well, a second monitor. It's just a laptop, and then I just split the screen with my monitor. But I have a laptop over here, and then in this, this direction. So I'm looking this way a lot. You probably noticed that. And I'm always looking at my, uh, usually I'm just looking at, like, Serenus Forest or whatever I have up. But that's why I always look over there, as opposed to, uh, at my screen. So how much defense do you have? 17 is pretty good. How much attack does this guy have? 30, Jesus Christ, 34. <laughs> what the fuck? How do you how do you deal with this guy? <laughs> I don't know. And these guys all have hand axes? How do you kill these guys? I suppose perhaps we can do Where's Ira? Because Ira has the bolt sword. Maybe I can get some of these guys to kind of lure out and, like, fight me. Can I get you an authority range? Yeah, yeah. So what if we go, like, here? Maybe we can at least do some chip damage to them. We can start, like, fighting through the wall or something. Like, I really don't know how the hell to kill this guy. <laughs> he seems so strong. Maybe I should have Oifi go in a castle and get, like, a different weapon. You know, actually, there were weapons in the main castle. I probably should have had Oifi go, like, buy a steel sword. I didn't even think about that at the time, but that probably would have been a good play. Well, I don't know.
Maybe we can fight some of them like through the through the wall. We can maybe we can like disconnect him from his soldiers or something. I don't know. Because if it's him alone, I'm not too scared about it. Because as long as Oifi doesn't like straight up die, we can just get him in a choke. That was a crazy level up on Arthur. Unfortunately, Arthur does not have pursuit, which is very sad. One of my only units without pursuit. Which I'll be honest, we don't love. So maybe we can make that happen? I don't know. It seems very sketchy though. Because the problem is even thinning the the sort of herd of armor or of axe knights is gonna be extremely difficult. Um well, I actually survived. Well, he should attack. Maybe he can kill one of them. I don't know. Or at least da do some damage. Some nice chip damage. I'm having Fee go toward that village that's down there. That, that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, did you see him, like, go down? That looked so funky. What the hell? I wonder if they'll actually attack me. Because their, their leader can't attack me. He doesn't have range. So I wonder if the Axe Knights actually will. The Revo access. Why do they all have hand axes, dude? That's so lame. <laughs> Please kill him. Okay, perfect. I want to really die so we can kind of get this on. So are they gonna? T yes, they took the castle. Okay. So hypothetically, at least I can seize that castle now. Twenty-five percent. But the good news here is that I can take two. My hit, my damage is so ass though. The nice thing as well is that they're, they're away from the leadership stars of their commander. I wonder where they're going to if they're going to go with him now. Where's the commander going to go? That's what I'm curious about. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. If we, if we can make this happen with the splits, maybe this is the way to go. Because I really don't know how to kill this guy. Okay, shoot this guy. We should be doing it with Ira though. She's much stronger. And she has the, the um, potential to proc uh, soul, which will help keep her alive, which is really nice. Um, does it help if I go one further? Probably not. How many can reach me? It actually helps if I go here instead, because one more can reach me. Again, I want the most that can. So equip that, only 33 avoid. Make sure we're in that range. The nice thing too is that they won't get this authority stars, but I'm getting Celifs, which is really nice. Does anyone else have range? I don't think so. Oh, you, you do, you do. Yeah, kill this guy. I want as little to attack Ira as possible, because there is the potential that she could die here. But obviously, we're hoping that she doesn't. I wonder, actually, can I put Oifi in the range of, like, another guy? Like, what's your movement? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, I'll, I'll let you move max movement just in case, but I don't think there's any way that you're going to be in the range there. Again, we really need to thin some of this out, because how many are there? There's so many, dude. There's so many. Even if the hit percentages are really low, it's going to be really sketchy. And the thing is, like, once he's close, the hits are only going to get better. Um, because he'll ha they'll have the authority stars. Okay. Also, there's the potential that the green units are now going to go around. I don't think there's any way the green units can, like, seize Safara. That would make any sense. At least I don't think. I'm not sure who should be getting these villages. Um, I My initial thought is that it should be our healer. Dude, did you get hit instantly? Is that what I just witnessed? And then you didn't proc anything? Larcy, I'm going to be honest. Don't, don't do that. Just don't do that. There is a chance that she could die, but it's like extremely low, I would think. Just proc uh, Astra. Or proc um, Soul. Okay, good. <laughs> I really shouldn't be worried. Can you just proc one or the other? Like, actually kill these guys? That'd be cool. Pog? Okay, that was something. I don't know what she procced, but it was something. Astra, okay. Have we seen her proc Soul? I feel like she never proc Soul. Ulster did, but... Um, yeah, I think I'm probably just going to give the villagers to the healer, because... Um, we want to repair a lot of the stuff that she has. And again, it's it's pretty useful actually to give her uh, money because she can't really earn it on her own because of how hard, like obviously she can't go into the arena. And, ooh, Oifi actually kind of destroys these things. Oh shit, we love that. Um, and we want to repair those. And the, the best way to like grind her levels is to have really powerful stabs that give a lot of experience. So not a great level up, not amazing, but that's fine. 
He doesn't really need good level ups. Okay, that was sick. We're doing a pretty good job of... Yeah, yeah, perfect. We're doing a pretty good job of thinning out the... Uh, these guys. Again, once they're all dead... Like, the boss is terrifying, but once all of these guys are dead, or at least most of them, I think we can probably figure out something with the boss. Oh, she finally proc soul. It happened. That was a lot less useful than Astra because I don't think she's in any danger of dying, but, you know, we take it. Uh, okay, level up. I really want strength and defense, but whatever. We'll take it. Okay, he's slowly moving. Again, I want to put as many units in because the Axe Knights will keep attacking me, so we want as many units in their range as possible. Okay, Fee, can you kill this guy? Or at least, like, what if I Berserk Edge this guy? I'm curious what he'll do. Will he just start, like, wandering around being an idiot? <laughs> what the fuck? That looks so weird. Yeah, I'm kind of curious what he'll do. Strength. No, but defense. I like that. So he should be Berserk now. Yeah, I'm curious what he'll do, because obviously the, the brigands just kind of wander around. He can't see his... Alright, start heading out. I'm actually slightly nervous. It doesn't say anything like this, but if we take Isaac, I wonder if, like, some units will spill out of Safara. Like, I'm not really sure how that works. Oh, wow, his movement's nuts. Unfortunately, kind of too many... Yeah, too many have moved uh, too far. This is a bit annoying. Movement's crazy. Wow. Okay, why don't you just sit in this choke then? Because he'll come attack. At the very least. You can kill him or at least damage him. Can you attack through here? Okay. Uh, finish this guy off. And the other guy should die. So at least we're slightly thinning it. I wish that I thinned it a little bit more. Obviously, there's still a decent amount of units left. But... I don't know. We'll make it work. We'll figure it out. Maybe we can, like, Larcy Astro the boss or something with the Bolt Sword. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's nowhere I can put anyone now that'll actually, like, lure out any of these units. They're too far away now. Shoot. Well, that's annoying. Alright, I don't know if moving up is my best decision. I think maybe staying a little bit back is probably better. But, let's see what we can do here. Did you say Larcy was level 7? She's going levels fast. HP, magic, res, okay. She does have a 100% magic growth, so... If we ever don't get magic, there's a serious problem. Oh, you know, we have the sleep! Wait, we have sleep! What am I even thinking? We, we totally have sleep. His res sucks. No, dude, we, we got this. Yeah, I should've just thought about this. We have sleep... We have sleep and a two-use silence. Very nice. Okay, we are gonna put his ass to sleep for sure. You attack. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can make this work very easily. Okay, okay. No problem. Yeah, I completely forgot that we even had the sleep stuff. As long as it hits, which I think it should, because I think it's just determined by whether or not you have more magic than they have res. It shouldn't be a problem, obviously. Because this res sucks and my magic is like... Well, it kind of sucks too, but it's okay. This guy, I don't know if he'll die necessarily, because I think we need a crit. I don't even know if we double, to be honest. You know what? We'll just keep critting. We'll just keep critting everybody. It's fine. Who cares? We are chilling. Okay, they're moving their max movement, which much, must mean that the boss is going to do that as well. As long as we can sleep him next turn, we should be good to go. Where's he going to go? Okay. Can I get in range of that? Probably, right? Ooh, I don't know, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, that should be just in range. Yes, this should work. If this doesn't work, this is a huge problem for us. Did that work? We're getting experience. <laughs> Ooh, we also got a full level for that. That's sick. HP plus 2 strength, which is extremely useless. And sleep broke, which is fine. Is he taking a nap? Yes! Okay, that's gonna make that so much easier. Holy crap. 
She now has one strength. Extremely useful. Um... Uh, oh, I see, I can't heal you, but I can put you in his range to get some more avoid. So if you want to just kind of sit there and do your thing, feel free. What villages do we still have yet to get? There's one up there. There's the one that we're about to... Oh, this guy... Does it just make him do nothing? Because I'm pretty sure he didn't even attack the village. He just sat there like a, like a dumb person. Like a person who doesn't know what he's doing. Who would do that? Okay, well, I guess that was kind of useful. I mean, it's going to make us a little bit of money here in a minute. Arthur, yeah, just keep moving away. I'll probably just wind up having Arthur get the villages and get the money. Um, in the end. And then you have the javelin equipped, right? Okay, should be chill. Can't get around, right? No. I'd rather do, do this with Larcy, obviously, because I want her to get the experience more, but who cares? Obviously, it's more important to just, like, protect everybody. Yeah, they can only deal three damage at the most, so... Not too worried about this. Okay, I do double. Perfect. Yeah, we're chilling. I'm really glad that I remembered that I had that sleep staff because that guy looked absolutely terrifying. And we should really look to repair that sleep staff because it is so useful. And make sure that we keep her with as much magic as possible. I don't know who had my magic ring. Maybe Lewin did? I don't know. Also, if we can get the axe guy to kill the boss, then we don't have to worry about selling and buying for the pawn shop with the hero axe. So that would be cool. Okay, if your first level up was questionable, what about this one? HP, skill, strength. Better, better. Not amazing, but less questionable for sure. For sure. I think that's the first person that he hasn't just flat out crit. <laughs> yeah, it is. He hates these guys. What if he's killing these people with, uh, with passion? What about this guy? Nope, we crit his ass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Love to see it. That's fine. Again, I'd much rather have that experience go to Ira, but who cares? All right, Lester, you can have a kill. I want to kind of weave in Lester kills, you know? It's nice to give him experience. I really don't want anybody to fall behind. I know I mentioned this in the first part a little bit, but in the first part, I think it's less important to have everyone keep up because it's the end game isn't that difficult, and... Um, Uh, what do you call it? The, uh... Actually, you should go get that village. Where's the village? Yeah, I should, you should go get that village. Um, the end game isn't that difficult, and a lot of the units that you're recruiting are just gonna wind up going away, so it's kinda like, who cares? Right? Like, that last chapter in particular was not that difficult. But in this, uh, it's a bit more difficult in the end. And this is the rest of the game for us, right? These are the units that we're gonna have for the rest of the game. So... I kind of want to make sure that everybody is able to um, keep up, more so than, again, in, in the first part. Look at how much damage we're dealing, like, how, how are you supposed to kill this guy without doing what I did? <laughs> Holy crap. So if you crit... I mean... Yeah, I kind of don't want you to do that. We can just let him start taking shots. It's not like this guy's healing or anything. I mean, my hit's not very good, but... I should probably get Selif up here. Still have four more turns. Yeah. It's funny, it looks like he's just one of my units. Uh, Dermot, there's like no way you kill him. You can get some experience too if you want. I don't care. But again, I do want the one guy to be the final guy that uh, that kills him. Just, just so I don't have to like worry about buying and selling the, the axe. Because he only has 5,000. I don't know how much the X costs. We can always pick up the money with fee in the end if we if we want. Do, 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 do. Okay, Dermot, do 22. Yeah, do a little bit more damage and then we should be able to kill with the one guy. 
Let's use crit here. I don't know if he has crit or not. He should only have pursuit. I think that's all the only thing that Rakesis and Beowulf gave him. HP luck defense. Kind of a weird level up. Not terrible, but very much not hurry. Alright, you finish him off. See, that's not... When I said finish him off, I meant, like, like kill him? Why don't you go here? Because that way he'll still be in um, range next turn. I won't have to move him. Don't kill him, just walk by the sleeping man. <laughs> here, if you can get healed next turn, you can get there, right? One, two, three, four, five, five. Perfect. Actually, you need to go in the, the castle because you need to. Um, I guess we're going to have to we have to go all the way back, right? Because we actually need to... Re I suppose you can... Can you go from here? I mean, it'll be slow, but I think you probably can. Because we need to take that one eventually, I would think. Maybe not. What do I know? Okay, you get this village. You know the Liberation Army's leader, Selif. They say he's the rightful heir to Grand Vale. I bet we'd have a much better time with him on the throne if that were true, huh? Here, take this take this skill ring. What? Go on, do your best. We're all behind you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, I don't know if she's the best recipient of the skill ring. Yeah, that's pretty useless. Although, actually, not that useless because we want money for her. And while I want that on somebody else, that'll actually give me an opportunity to get some more money. So... King Danon, my lord, forgive me. Yeah, so actually her getting the skill ring is pretty nice because it's just like 10,000 extra gold for her. You got the Brave Axe, which like I said is huge for him. Wait! I was literally, I was just thinking, I was like, you know what would be funny? If this was technically the Brave Axe that Lex had and it kept the like kill stars that we had with Lex. And then I was like, no, nah, there's no way they do that. But they did, it has 57 stars, which means if he uses it, he gets the critical skill and that extra crit. That's nuts. I didn't even think about that. So that's that means that's the same hero axe. Because the only reason that I was thinking that actually might work, oh, I'm supposed to heal, shit, I'm dumb. The only reason I was thinking that might work is because the hero axe seems like a very unique item. So it seems to kind of make sense I actually need to get these. Actually, we're gonna have to go up to Sephora to uh, do it anyway. So. Because it kind of makes sense that, the, that there would only be one hero axe in like the entire continent. So that's really good. That means he's gonna have crit on his attacks and he always doubles, that's huge. Okay, let's see here. Oh, Lord Selif, sir, glad to see you're okay. Is everyone unharmed, sir? Indeed, and ecstatic to see you to boot. Thanks to you, Lord Selif. We know that at long last, Isaac shall have its freedom. Thank you, sir, but the effort isn't mine alone. I can never have come so far without the support of the common man. Of the common man, Seleph! I don't, I don't think that's what you should be referring to people as, but whatever. You've all supported me from the beginning. I likely wouldn't be here if not for you. Why don't you just say the support of people? <laughs> Fate is a funny thing, isn't it, sir? Just 20 years ago, our late king had the utmost trust in your grandfather's wisdom. Then your father came to protect uh, Prince Shannon, and now the prince has guided you to adulthood. Perhaps fate is bound, Isaac and Kelfie is one. Mm, Isaac is the only home I've ever known, and Prince Shannon is like a brother to me. I pray our friendship lasts the rest of our lives. What self, you are the rightful heir to House Belhalla and the throne of Granvale. Is he? Not a soul alive in Isaac, nor in the rest of the world can doubt this. We beg of you, raise the banner of justice high, march at Belhalla, and reclaim your true throne. Is he the rightful heir to, like, Belhalla? I mean, he's the rightful heir to Kelfi, but I don't see why he'd be the rightful heir to Belhalla. Like, Kurth has, like, some kind of blood that gives him the... Oh, I guess he has Naga blood. Oh, yeah, I, I guess because he's the, he's the son of... Well, he's the son of Deirdre, but... Hold on a minute. So he has Naga blood because he's the son of Deirdre, which means that he is the heir to the house of Belhalla. But why does an old man know that? There's no way that old man should know that, right? That he has, like, Naga blood in him. Right? Am I, I mean, am I crazy? I don't know. It seems weird. Whatever. Oh, 
Oh, do you have to? Who has to talk to who? We have some some conversations to open up here. Oh, it's Julia to sell it. Okay, can can she talk to him? Okay, I need you to go in here and just use as much money as you have. Yeah, repair this as much as you can. Although honestly, at this stage, we don't really need it too much. But why not? So is this pretty much it? Do we just have to kill the boss? Like, I was kind of expecting some people to come out of here, but it seems like it seems like this is just sort of it. Interesting. Do we even have to take Safara? I don't know. I mean, we probably should, because there's a dialogue that opens up once we take it. But... I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't. I was kind of expecting there to be like a dialogue, like he would he would say like, "Oh man, they're gonna defeat me," and then summon a bunch of units. But it doesn't seem like they are. Hi, Selif. Are you faring all right so far, Julia? Mm, thank you, Lord Selif. Actually, I have something for you. I found this in Castle Isaac. What is this? It's a light term called Nosferatu. You can wield these, yes? Yes, I'm able to use light magic. Excellent. Hopefully you'll now have an easier time protecting yourself in combat. Thank you, Lord Self. Thank you so much. See, we got Nosferatu anyways. Again, thank you to the people that told me that Nosferatu is much better than Aura. Um, but yeah, we got it. So, not a big deal. Oh, I also believe that if Dermot goes inside of Isaac, you actually get some stat buffs on him. So we should do that. I don't know who's killing this this boss. Maybe just uh, oh my god, I keep wanting to call her Ira. What is what is her name? Uh, Larcy. I do think that if we use her enough, which I think we're gonna use her a lot, I will probably eventually start saying Larcy. But I'm like I said before, I'm probably gonna say Ira quite a bit. Um, yeah, does he have like a special? Oh, maybe he doesn't. Hmm, it says... It says if Demni... Who is Demni? Maybe that's one of the generic characters? Oh, Demni is the generic version of Lester. Oh, okay. Or sorry, um, Ulster. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Never mind. We can't actually do anything there. Never mind. Never mind. I'm assuming we probably also have to take the other thing. So hopefully he can make his way through the, this mountain. I think he probably can. It'll just be slow. So who wants to kill the boss? Um, we have a silver axe and a, and a thief sword, but no two range. So we can kind of go, just go crazy here with the bolt sword if we really want, to be honest. Oh, actually, you know what? If she's really useful, we can go crazy with her. If we want. I think I'm probably just going to wind up having a fee, uh, about all this stuff. My chair's so noisy. Uh, yeah, but you, you still want to get one more thing, but then we should be good. I think we're good. I don't think anybody's going to spawn anywhere. I mean, like I said, I'm pretty sure this boss doesn't have two range unless I'm missing something, so... I think we can just kind of go nuts with, uh, what's-her-face and slowly kill him. Right, let me just make sure... Yeah, not two range. One to one. My hit's not amazing. I suppose you can come down here and help me out with that. I mean, we obviously have to seize this. Pitiful rebel fools. Don't you dare underestimate the glory of the Grand Vale Empire. Thank you. That was a weird noise. I don't know what that was. Wait, I double? That's interesting. I didn't. I guess Deirdre didn't have pursuit, so I wasn't thinking about it. But obviously, uh, what Sigurd did? It weighs twelve. Oh, that just weighs so much. Okay. I mean, it does weigh a lot, but the ability to like even potentially uh, double is like really useful. So, not terrible.
at least move self up a little bit. I, to be honest, I should have turned the animation back on because I'm kind of curious what this looks like. But maybe when we, because this isn't going to kill, so maybe in the last turn when we kill, I'll turn it back on. No. Obviously, I talked about this a little bit um, when we were playing through the first part. See this level up HP, magic, speed. Speed's nice. Very good level up. Um, but because you actually get a really solid chunk of experience just for damaging bosses, you can actually abuse this quite a bit. In fact, in this case, I'm pretty sure you can have Selif, like gain just a ton of experience right off the bat here. Um, but as I said before, I find that a little bit lame and I don't, I don't really want to do that. So we're not going to we're going to do that. But you can pretty easily have Selif gain like a shitload of experience by just attacking this boss over and over again with a weak weapon. And you can even gain a bunch of experience for your healers as well by like healing. It's kind of like arena grinding. Oh, that looks dope. Oh, he's at one. Wait, how did he survive that? Did he have 18 health? I missed about 18 health. Okay, I was like, you don't like have to kill him with somebody else, do you? Ugh, Lord Arvis, my liege. I just got sucked off by your sort of daughter. <laughs> okay, like I said, Fee, Fee can get the uh, the villagers up here. Why not? We could we could do a Selif, but Selif already has so much like crap on him. I don't think I'm really gonna have to buy anything. Every last citizen of Isaac believes in and trusts Lord Selif. We owe his family dearly for how his father long ago rescued and helped raise our Prince Shannon. It's true, you owe me. You owe me. Yeah, the rest of this chapter is going to be pretty straightforward. There's, obviously, there's no more enemies to fight, so... A little boring, but we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Oh, aren't you from that Liberator's Army? Glad to see you're making a stand now. This is great news! With y'all around, we finally got a shot at making the Imperial Cowards run out of here with their tails between their legs. Wouldn't put too much stock in that, but... It's gonna be great. I guess I could have taken the other castle, because like I said, in the end, I think we are gonna have to take all these castles. I guess I'm just kind of wasting time, but... Oh, thank you, Lord Selif. You've restored peace and freedom to the kingdom of Isaac. Wait, I, that doesn't finish the chapter, though, right? That wouldn't make any sense. Okay. So that does open up one conversation. We can have Selif talk to Lana, which will work actually perfectly, because I'm going to have Lana head over there. And we can get her plus three HP. Prince Shannon is our beacon of hope for Isaac's future once he returns with his divine blade, Belmung, in his hand. Well, those Imperial Sods won't stand a chance at all. Every last one of them will be run right out of our great land. Hell yeah. We'll murder all of them. You know, I once knew a man who murdered a lot. And he wound up getting, well, murdered himself. And that always the way it goes. So be careful with that, but. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, there's some other conversations we can have. Like I said, like, uh... I guess we can get Fee down here. I wouldn't mind doing them. We could also have Oifi talk to Selif. We could also do Arthur, but Arthur's so far away, I think I kind of don't care. Oh, thank the gods, sire, you're safe. Oh, if you glad you made it back in time. What news of the rest of the world? The Empire's grip is tightly is tightening still further, as if trying to choke life from the people. It's inciting doom re doomed revolts all across the Jogdral. So it's as I thought. It isn't as if the Empire's tyranny would ever be limited to only Isaac. Oifi, oh, is it fe feasible to assist them? 
Not as we presently stand, sir. We lack- we still lack the strength to properly challenge the Empire. In what of our present battle, the war for Isaac's freedom has already begun. Turning back now would be impossible. Hmm, there's certainly no chance of returning you to hiding, sir. Now that your whereabouts have been leaked. Starting the fight now was reckless, but we've no choice but to continue. Oifia, I'm sorry I let all this happen behind your back, but we had no choice. Even so, I don't think I could have stood letting Isaac suffer under Dandon's thumb any longer. I trust you understand, Oifia. I do, sire. Now, our priority is to lay siege to Dandon's capital, Ravo, with all due haste. Dandon must fall before the Empire can send him reinforcements. We cannot afford to wait. So, this is obviously a conversation that's supposed to have been, like, had much earlier because at this point it kind of doesn't make any sense like we've already defeated Ravo and we've like these two have been fighting next to each other for quite some time so it's sort of funny but Lana I still can't can't say I feel comfortable having you out here in the field it's much too dangerous yes my lord but I'm sure I'll be fine please take the utmost care if you stray behind from behind the front lines you'll be too vulnerable a target but Lana, please. I'm worried for your sake. Okay, my lord. Oh, okay, I guess I'll just get 3 HP. <laughs> I mean, really, really nice bonus, obviously. We like 3 HP, but kind of weird. Okay, I've just decided to be slightly tankier. Could start spamming warp. It's actually not a bad idea. Hey there, you're Lord Selif, right? Indeed I am. And you, miss? Call me Fee. I'm from Selyse. Selyse, you say? Are you Pegasus Knight, then? Or not just yet. I'm still kind of in training. My mom was one, though. Actually, in the big war years ago, she helped Lord Sigurd out in his army. Is that so? She has my utmost gratitude on my father's behalf. Now, it brings you here, Fee. See, what happened was I was looking for my brother, who ran away ages ago. But then I heard about you, sir, and how you're taking on the Empire yourself. And I just knew I had to be here, too. Can I join your army, sir, please? Certainly, thank you. What of your brother, though? It's silly, sir. But I have this feeling that we're going to run into him some, somewhere down the line. I have that feeling too, Fee. So actually spamming, uh, spamming warp is probably not a bad plan, if we're being honest here. Get some more experience. I've been hearing a lot about how the Empire's been hunting kids in all uh, those other countries. Thanks to you lot, Isaac's free from the Empire at last, but the rest of the world's still in a really dark place. All across Strugdral, they're all waiting for Lord Selif to rise up and defeat the Empire. Please, I'm begging you. You've got to make it to Granville soon. All right, lady, calm down. I didn't know they were hunting children. That doesn't seem great. So obviously, warp is an extremely useful um, staff. So I don't want to waste all of it. But depending on how much experience I get here, I, I might. That's 60 experience. All right, let's spam a little bit of warp and then we can get out of here. This is a good opportunity to do it. We don't really need 10 uses on warp, anyways. I don't want to use too much because I, I can only ever do like so much. I only have so much money to work with, but... The only conversation that we're missing now is Arthur talking to... Stop getting strength. What is your problem? Is Arthur talking to um, Selif, but... I think it, the conversation would probably be pretty generic, and... Uh, I don't really want to bother bringing Arthur over here, honestly. I'm a bit lazy. <laughs> I will say promoting her is quite a bit less useful than promoting Rakesis. We were really focused on promoting Rakesis, and part of that was because she got mounted when she promoted, which is, of course, a huge deal. We love that. Stop getting strength. Dude, what? Is her strength growth, like, kind of legit? I don't see why it would be. Um, well, she's Rana, right? Or Lana, whatever. Um, so is Zell? Ah, oh, she actually does have a 25% strength growth. I have no clue why, but she does. <laughs> kind of weird. She got strength again! Actually, her strength growth is the same as, um, Fee, which is kind of funny. If Fee would get this much strength, that'd be awesome. I really hope this is the end of the chapter, because I just warped everybody away. She's level 6? Okay, that's a pretty good head start on her. I think we did everything we needed to do. A job well done, Selif. Thanks to you, Isaac is free from the Empire's grip. Lewin, are you already finished in Leinster? Yeah, I only just got back now. Look, Selif, are you aware that right now the world's at a critical turning point? Mm, no, I'm afraid. Mm, no, I'm afraid not. It's been 15 years since Arvis conquered all of Jugdral and united it as the Granvale Empire. 
Honestly, for a while, at first, it wasn't all that bad. In the Empire's Dawn, Lord Emperor Arvis uh, sought to bind his nation using only the strictures of law. Sure, it was strict and constraining, but we still got a good few years of peace out of it. But obviously, he changed his mind a few years back. As if by magic, the Empire turned into that oppressive force we all know and love today. <laughs> Even worse, the ancient heretics of the Lopterian Order have arisen from the shadows once more and raised influence across the land. Oh, so that's what happened. Okay, I suppose I could have probably figured that out. But The murderous rituals have returned with them. And all across, all across Jugdral, they abduct children to sacrifice in droves to resurrect their fell god. All attempts to resist the Empire are crushed and met with brutal executions or enslavement. It couldn't be plainer that they seek to return Jugdral to the days of brutal control by the, that ancient abomination, the Lepter Empire. This can't be happening. I've heard all the rumors saying the same, but... Never did I think they could be more than rumors. By the look of it, Isaac hasn't had it quite as bad as most. Ganon's two sons, at least, refused to follow through on the child hunts. Of course, there are always... Uh, there's always people trying to rebel against the Empire left, right, and center but they were all scattered and disorganized. Before now, none of them ever posed a threat, a proper threat to the Empire. They were all swiftly crushed before they could so much as blink. Jugdral desperately needs a savior. He needs a man to unite behind in the name of liberty. And I'm pretty sure that man is you, Selif. You're the one who stands a chance. Hold on a moment. Are you sure of this? A savior would require power, power I sorely lack. Bro, you're decked out in rings that buff all your stats. Chuck it up to duty, Selif. You're the eldest uh, child of Empress Deirdre. Oh, they do know that he's the, the son of Deirdre. Okay. That makes you the elder brother to the crown prince Julius. You're the one true heir to Saint Haim. Your destiny is to unite the peeper, people of the crusaders of this era and free the world from this evil grip. But trust me, you really do have what it takes. Your true power and potential sleeps within you. That is the sacred blood of the crusader Bell. Belder. Once you get your holy blade, Tirfing, not even the heavens will be able to stand in your way. But I... Sorry, Selif, but that's how, how the gods will it. Your Sigurd's son, the son of a man who fate led to a brutal end. The fulfillment of his dying wishes and his final request falls to you. You can't afford to go doubting yourself now. You understand, Selif? Yeah, yes, yes I do. If this is fate and the gods, the will of the gods, then so be it. I will do my duty. There actually isn't a single absolute fate, nor is there just one person it all hinges on. As obtuse as that sounds, trust me, one day it'll make sense. Sigurd left behind so much to help you on your quest. Most importantly, the many friendships he forged in his life. Me, for instance. I mean, he killed a lot of people, but he did, he did leave some friends. Brave youths from all over are already lining up to join your cause, all guided by Sigurd's kindness. I don't know if I'd call Sigurd kind, but... My father won the love and trust of so many people from all walks of life. I can only pray that in time I'll prove my worthiness to his legacy. You'll be fine. Anyway, to business. Our immediate goal now is to reach Leinster. The son of Quan, your father's oldest friend, or closest friend, raised his own rebellion only to suffer se severe losses. He's in pretty urgent need of backup. I know you've had no time to rest, but we need to get going as soon as possible. For now at least, we can leave Isaac in the care of its citizens. Azar will run into Prince Shannon on our way. Understood. And we can experience um, Leaf's Rebellion, not only, of course, a few chapters later, but also in the next game, Thracia, which uh, further delves into that. We love Thracia. Um, okay, so this is where I'm going to end this part. Um, next time we will, of course, start Chapter 7, and we'll do a story recap, obviously, at the beginning of the next part. But yeah, so thanks, everybody, for watching. As always, I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time.